מורין פיין, שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. We are sitting here today in the Givatine Theater for a very good reason, a wonderful reason. It's the opening of your new exhibition dedicated to African portraits. Maureen, you are a native of South Africa, but you have spent so many years in Israel. So maybe you can share with us a bit about your uh, wonderful artistic career in Israel and all over the world. Well, um, I, <laughs> I um, started off at the Hebrew University, did a fine arts degree. Um, I can't. <laughs> I um, and I started painting in 1983, again, having left off for many years. I was trained in South Africa and in England. And um, living in Jerusalem, uh, it was a whole different thing because everybody's very laid back and elegant and uh, good taste prevails. The colors are very specific, spiritual atmosphere. And if I lived in Tel Aviv, it would be a different kind of everything, my work. But I've been painting since 1983. I teach at the Israel Museum, I teach watercolor, that's what I do basically, and, uh, and I paint in oils and watercolor, and I do paper mache sculpting, and I do ceramic masks, and I enjoy my life. Multi-talented. I enjoy my life. <laughs> and we enjoy your work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, your exhibitions were shown all over the world, uh, France, the US, Norway, yeah. South Africa and Israel of course, and uh, in March of 2011 you were one of five Israeli uh, women artists invited to present in Berlin. No, sorry, it was 1999. Right, right. In Berlin, as a guest of the government of Germany. This must have been very special for you, as a Jew, as an Israeli. They were so happy to have us. It was such an interesting exhibition. And there was a lot of commonality between the subject matter that the German women were doing and what we were doing too. And um, I presented works that were done on Jerusalem stone meaning the ground Jerusalem stone and uh, even more special then yes because I spoke about the fact that uh, uh, it was uh, basically it's over the land over the rocks the whole thing so it had another dimension and um, and then the German woman came to Jerusalem and we had a joint exhibition a few years after that and it was very very meaningful for our connections and of course for them getting to know us Sounds very moving too. Wow. I'm about to ask you about your inspiration, okay. about your inspirations. Okay. Uh, when it comes to this uh, exhibition, it is quite uh, forthcoming that it has to do with your memories from South Africa. But normally, uh, I know also that you are very good actually one of the best Israeli painters that I know when it comes to painting, painting in watercolors, especially landscapes, but also portraits. Can you name an inspiration, maybe more than one? Uh, have there been uh, role models from the painting world? Well, it's hard to say because I was taught in, lucky enough, I was taught in a very classical way. Uh, academic background with uh, anatomy studies and a um, uh, very deep understanding of color and that's been with me all the years and um, I feel very fortunate because I have this background. Um, when I paint watercolors it's usually um, from the object, from the people, from the actual scene outside. I paint a lot in the desert and um, I, I really enjoy that and, uh, and, and it flows, it's fantastic watercolor. 
the oils come from a different place and it's usually a concept, it's usually a series that comes from a need to, to do something, to explore some kind of uh, theme. And very often um, the fact that I paint on this wonderful surface of the Jerusalem stone, which looks like a fresco, it suggests themes like angels, like um, frescoes, portraits uh, of um, Renaissance faces to study what makes a face classical. I go through series. I work in bunches. <laughs> And then I know when the series is finished, I usually sort of, um, they sort of gel. It takes me a while and then all of a sudden in a half a year I produce 25 paintings. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Wonderful. Fabulous. And it's quite obvious for anybody who takes one look at your work throughout the years that in addition to talent, this is, this is indeed a work of deep passion and love. Definitely. I just, just love it. I go to the studio, I forget time, I leave high. It's so amazing because you start with nothing and you end up with amazing. And the pictures take over and they do themselves. Amazing. Yes. So, you enjoy very much painting and this is probably an understatement. Yeah. What about teaching? Uh, that's given me a tremendous amount and I think it gives the students an amazing amount too because I teach adults and, um, and it's a magic medium, watercolour, and uh, it gives people such satisfaction to be able to produce, um, produce and, uh, and do. And, um, and I learn from them, and I give a lot. I'm one of those teachers that doesn't hold back. And then I have a lot of uh, feedback because my students become successful. Some of them will have exhibitions. So right. not only that we should thank you for your work, we should thank you for your <laughs> students' work. In the future. So it's a double delight for us. Maureen, I know that some of your works are part of the Israeli Museum collection. One. And I know that uh, also in other museums, uh, private collections. Yeah. In Israel, England, the US, Canada, France, the Netherlands, South Africa, Germany, Australia, and even Senegal. Even Senegal. I can't think of a, a better proof for an artist whose work is being duly recognized. Thank you. Well, yeah, yeah, thank you. It's very, very uh, satisfying. And it's always a surprise when I walk into somebody's home and I realize that, oh, that's mine. Because <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I forget who's got what and whatever. Anyway, yeah, it's nice. Good feeling. Uh, can you share with us some of your plans for the future, if there are plans? Well, uh, I'm now doing a lot of um, demonstrating watercolor workshops and watercolor demonstrating in America. Okay. And um, it's very nice also. Adults, a lot of watercolor societies there. And in Israel, it really is not a medium that people know about or appreciate or, or you know, there are not many people doing it. So, um, uh, in, in America and in England, there's much more appreciation, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm still teaching, I'm still working, Wonderful. I'm still here. Wonderful. And uh, we keep waiting for more from Maureen, fine, in the field of fine arts, <laughs> and uh, we'd like to wish you Lots of success with this current exhibition and with everything that uh, you are uh, producing for us. Thank you very much.